Welcome back, everybody. Mr. Blue here. Mr. Blue Farms on Gold Crest Valley. Yeah, we're back at it, folks. We uh, returned to Scorpion King in the last episode. So now we uh, all of our stuff here to gather it up. We're now going through here, in case y'all don't know, some of y'all out there don't know, but this is called a stump grinder. And basically all it does is grind your stump down into the ground. And then the, the thing on top there is what we're going to be loading these with, hopefully. Well, I figured uh, I'm probably get off right now talking and stuff, just want to say welcome aboard and uh, uh, yeah and I forgot what I was going to say I was going to do a shout out I was able to find one of those subscribers and I got to go to my things here and I'm going to email it came to me as an email and that's the only way I can find it won't show me on YouTube but it's Nate dog the cat thank you for subscribing to my channel uh, I can't find you on nothing but my email so I don't know if you left or what but if you stayed with me thank you very much I enjoy it Having people subscribing to my channel makes me feel like I'm actually accomplishing something. So a big shout out to you, man. That's Nate Dog the Cat. Nate Dog the Cat. All put together. So I hope I'm saying that right. But anyway, uh, I figure I go down through here getting all the stumps first. It is just a pain switching back and forth. And uh, just about done, right up to the corner there. Kind of hard to get these this right. They're all in different positions, I guess because of different heights I cut. But I think I've done pretty good, folks, coming down through the Scorpion King like that, lay on to the side. But uh, I don't know if we get to the harvest this episode. Cause we got a lot to do down through here but uh to try to shorten it up a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and uh put some music on here and we're gonna fast forward see how far we can get and i don't know quite a few for about maybe 10 minutes of fast forwarding maybe maybe a little bit more Alright folks, uh, enjoy the music and we're fixing to hit fast mode right now.
folks. What do you think about all that? Now, taking this back down, we're going to pretty much just take it to market shop or right up here close by market shop. Uh, we're going to pick up that log trailer and go sell it. And then we're probably going to call it pretty much of an episode. I don't know how much time it take to render all that, but I figure. Let's see, we got two, four, six, eight. Wow, we got eight left. I just don't think this trailer is gonna hold no more, folks. Ah, it just looks like it's full to the gill. We need to do some washing. We need to have a wash day. Folks, we need one more of these, this truck here. This truck here is getting a lot of wear and tear on it. Uh, oh. Uh. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Fasten tents and belts. Yeah, buddy. We don't have to worry about them falling off. Let's see. Turn our lights on. This thing got a beacon. No. No beacon. All right, where are we going? We got pretty much... Let's go on down through there. We can uh, go straight on this highway here. Go to the last road, make a right, and then a left, and follow that up. Be a little bit different scenery. Let's see, should be almost up there to a cave. Turn signal on. Let them know I'm turning. So you got two, okay, right there. There's the market shop. All right, we're going to turn this away. Should have stopped. Yeah, ain't nothing coming. That's called a stopping row. But you didn't hear it from me. I was going to see that speed limit sign. Well, like I said, 35, not 65. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little bridge. Oh, look at all the trees. Are, oh, ah, over here, folks. Oh, hey, this is that hotel. I like it. Pretty neat. They go swimming in the swimming pool over there. Field number 10. Be a good field. Blah, ah, the car coming. Alright, I don't know where would be the best place to dump these folks. I really don't. I should have done note about the prices and stuff. I want to say we're going to pull right here. And sell them that way. Maybe. Uh, right, but all right, folks. We're probably just going to back them off in the pond. Uh, is there any way to do this without going to end? I don't even see nothing out there floating. I hope you can do this. I tried to drive over this, and I guess the 
pressure point, whatever is set too high. Hmm. Oh well, we'll just back off in the water. See how good our brakes are. There we go, folks. I think we could have got a whole lot more for that. Well, well, that's neither here nor there. I'm still getting prices rolling in, but. We should. Ah! We should give us a total price. Next load we're going to sell over there at the crane deal. Oh, man. I was looking at the crane hit. The but I don't do that in real life. Ghost Rider be all tore up. Alright folks, I know I told y'all Last episode, we'll be doing some uh, harvesting this episode, but we got to uh, get some more logs up right up here. We got about eight of them left, and then we uh, can take this trailer up to the pigs. And then, uh, oh man, I forgot we got more than eight, don't we? Yeah, we got more than eight. We got all these right there. Right, so I probably just did enough uh, fast forward, and then uh, when we get those up, we'll call it episode. And folks, the next one, I promise we will do a. Uh, harvest it's maybe what time we get all these sold we can upgrade one of our combines take a little money out of the bank I wish we had hazards folks so you got the right and the left turn signal hmm just can't turn both of them on at the same time. Oh well. Let's get back to our little work out here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this.
Alright folks, I'm back. Now it's missed my turn. I'll go in this way. I hope y'all enjoy this. There's uh, been a little bit about forestry. Uh, we've got these right here to pick up and all of those up there by the pig area pick up. So I'll probably do some of them off screen. So I won't bore y'all. And uh, when we come back, we'll be doing the harvest and uh, probably doing the harvest and fertilizing and stuff like that. Ah, not that way. So, uh, yeah, be sure and hit that like button, folks. Uh, share, subscribe. The whole nine yards, please. Uh, really hit me out. Uh, probably going to be doing a two or a three hour probably like a three or four hour maybe not this weekend but the next uh, yeah time y'all see this probably the next weekend like that Friday night Try to get some people to come on, help play and stuff. Uh, well, not play. We work hard, don't we? Uh, I like to really try to get my money up there as high as I can and get another good tractor, folks. I can't pick none of these. There we go. Uh, we need another good tractor. Uh, really need a couple more bigger combines since we're getting bigger fields and stuff. Um, there's another field I've been watching for and if I uh, get enough money might end up buying it before the next episode. So y'all be sure and watch out for that. And uh, oh, check that truck out, didn't I? Alright folks, uh, like I said, Make sure you uh, hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, I'm going to leave it with y'all. Well, I'm going to leave y'all alone so y'all can do whatever. I'm going to finish up these logs so I can uh, see how that does, folks. If you don't tighten it up so tight, it won't slip through. Just barely bump it over probably about that much right there. Well, picked up two of them anyway. Anyway, I gotta get off here and uh, get this edited and stuff for y'all and uploaded. Uh, also, going to tell you about my internet experience with Ritter Communications on the next one. Uh, it's nothing bad, but uh, I do want to say a special thank you to them. Yeah. And, but I'll do all that in the next episode. So, uh, see y'all later and uh, God bless. And I'll be here doing this, folks. All right. Y'all have a good one. See you later. Bye.